guys, this is Hardy Kid Elite here, and today, finally, CJ finally got this man here. Finally, I did a, a video, if you see him on my checkout, I did a video of five Black Force activities that CJ needs to do, needs to add in here, and he finally had this boy, our boy, oh, oh yeah, he's finally here. Uh, hero, I can't say that. Tsugami, I'm not, I'm not giving this names. Anime deadliest, uh, anime uh, deadliest serial killer. Yep, he is. Finally, I'm glad he had him. I wanted him to be part of this video. He was one of the guys I wanted CJ to do. And now he finally is doing this. We're going to check this shit out and see how good it is. Guess this guy is a fucking menace. A goddamn menace to society. You're able to see why. Oh, hey, if you guys want to see that um video I did about yeah, the five things I kind of want to see on well, um, Black Force activities on CJ, on it's going to be on TikTok. I'll link it down below and you guys see that. So, all right, let's see what he got. <laughs> yes. Six going dark. So I love this big to bust in the house and just shoot to kill. The grandma got unloaded on, shorty got dropped off, and they just started dumping mags in hero. Apparently, bro did not escape that five star wanted level. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, today I'ma just be honest with y'all. Out of the three to four years I've been doing this, I have never seen someone or something like this. So I'ma go ahead and give you a disclaimer right now. Ladies and gentlemen, what you are about to witness is one of anime's deadliest serial killers. Heck yes. So be warned, a lot of bodies will drop in this video. Yes. A lot more than usual. So yeah. you're probably wondering, I right, CJ, who is this? Cause you acting like he the second coming of Satan. Well, you wouldn't be far off. Ladies and gentlemen, the robo finger banger himself, Hiro Shishigami. Now, okay. how this will work, it'll technically be like a trial, but a lot more simpler. Because all we need with this is just a simple kill count. Because with all the victims you are yeah. about to see, this mm -hmm. is going to be the only way to keep up with this man's actions. So I got my calculator. I hope you got yours too. Because without further ado, let's get this party started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Now, to understand the killer of this investigation, mm -hmm. we first must understand, well, who is this nigga? Ladies and gentlemen, meet Hiro Shishigami, 17-year-old high school student. Now, off the rip, you first look at him and you think, this generic-ass anime nigga looking like a run-of-the-mill isekai <laughs> protagonist. No way yeah. That bro could even hurt a fly. I mean, look at him. Bro's at his friend's house reading One Piece glazing the fuck out mm -hmm. of him. Oh! My glorious King Oda, this chapter this week was amazing. But ladies and gentlemen, this man right here is a prime example of don't judge a book by its cover. So he's at his friend's house to check up on him because bro's been getting bullied lately. So he tells him, hey man, I know what to cheer you up. Come outside real quick. So he takes this man outside and bro says, you see them crows, my boy? Peep this. This man makes his hand a gun mm -hmm. and goes, bah! and straight up snipes the crow out of the air. Like, bro, that poor crow. Bro's just chilling, enjoying his day and got sniped. I know <laughs> Peter watching this just puking in their mouth right now. Bro's first victim was an innocent crow. So now I know you wondering, what the hell is going on and what the hell is he? Well, ladies and gentlemen, this man right here is Cyborg. Mm -hmm. But Japanese. <laughs> So this yeah. is where this gets wacky, so bear with me. So <laughs> one night, this man ended up getting involved in a hit and run with some aliens. What? Yeah. Yes, I'm not joking. Mm -hmm. Him and the old ass man who's the main character got yeah. ran over by a UFO. So the aliens obviously felt guilty. They was like, <laughs> <laughs> so they ended up restoring them and basically making them terminators but yeah. you see, this is not all he mm -hmm. can do though next they go to their local best buy to probably get scammed on an overpriced tv but hero said hell no nah, i ain't about to get scammed by these niggas so bro puts his hand on the tv and switches the channel to uh something i cannot show you know what play the oh yeah no, that chicken's a bop-bop. 
<laughs> and he put it on every single TV in the store. So this man is not just a Terminator. He is also a God tier hacker. And this right here is his best perk because he can go to any ATM and take out as much money as he wants. <laughs> Boy, I tell you, if I had this shit, you know what? Let me stop, bro. Let me stop. But anyways, this is where we start to see how psychotic Hero actually is. So after they leave the store, mm -hmm. Hero tells his friend, yo, man, you want to see something really cool? So they go to the side of the street, and this motherfucker becomes Mozart. This man starts conducting traffic and just making all the cars hit each other. Yeah. Look this. this is ridiculous. Look, Bo's even controlling truck. Boom. Straight up floored this car. And look at him just standing here at my the chaotic art he just created. He yeah, just yeah. Walk away like it's nothing, and he's like, "Did you enjoy my chaotic masterpiece, my friend?" Mm. Like it was so bad, his best friend even started to question him. Bro was hoping that he don't try to kill him. But now, ladies and gentlemen, this is where the investigation really starts. So yeah. prepare yourself. So later on that night, this man is outside playing Ring Around the Rosie by himself and lands on this house and says, "You're it." So this man walks inside the house and has the audacity to say, "I'm home." So then the lady turn around and look at him like, um, excuse me, baby, you in the wrong house. The wrong house? <laughs> nah, you in the wrong house. Oh, Lord, have mercy. He shoots this lady in the chest. Yeah. Dog. What the fuck? Mm -hmm. But now nah, look at him, bro. He wasn't done. He goes over to her body and just starts shooting her body. Dumping holes in her. Huh. Huh, huh. Like, bro, she is already dead. Stop. She ain't getting up. But you see, bro wasn't done yet. He hasn't yeah. got his high off. Bro is about to clear the whole house. Next, he goes to the bathroom and finds the dad bro, playing the with what? his son. So obviously, the dad's like, ah, who, who are you? Papa, who is that? Uh, honey, bud. Uh, who, who the hell is this? Huh. Ah! Shut up, nigga. So bro tries to shield his kid, but Hero just shoots him in the back. So then the dad asks, where, where, where is my wife? Oh, she's just downstairs. Oh, thank God. With four holes in her back and one in her chest. Yeah, this is what's messed up so right here. Pegs for Hero to spare his son. And this man coldly says with no emotion, nah, the kid dies too. So then he booms the dad in the head and the kid yeah. yeah, that little nigga drowned in the tub. Yeah. And look at this fucker. Bro said, oh, I feel alive. That's the high I needed. Oh, oh but you thought he was done? No. Oh, no. No. Now we get to the most infamous part of this whole anime. Mm -hmm. So the daughter comes home and just sees her mom's lifeless body on the floor. So she bags up and this nigga's just standing right here. So bro says, take a seat. I want to see if you know ball. So he makes her sit down on these stairs, puts the gun right in front of her head and asks her, and I'm not joking, real dialogue. What kind of manga do you read? Yeah. I beg your pardon. <laughs> what? What kind of manga do you read? One piece of attack on Titan. One piece? Oh, you know ball. Real quick though. Gun to the back of your head and ain't five One Piece characters. Zoro. Uh-huh. Luffy? Bitch, what the fuck is that? Mispronouncing names and shit. I ain't gonna lie. You know who bro remind me of? The niggas that got the Smash Bros cuts that figures out a girl watches anime and then they start giving them a whole ass examination quiz and they wonder why they get no hoes. <laughs> so after bro quizzes her, he starts to rub up on her and starts to hit her with that psychotic nigga Riz and just cuts her hand open. So she starts screaming and running for her life. But sadly for her, her speed attribute was lacking. So bro guns her. Yeah. And just like that, this motherfucker done murdered a whole family. Like, this is a different type of level of sick. Like, I know I've done multiple characters in the past, but this murdering a whole family of four in cold blood is wild. But we'll come back to the suburban family incidents in a minute. Because next, we need to move on to the high school bullies. So as we know mm -hmm. from earlier on... <laughs> Hero's best friend has been skipping school lately because he's been getting bullied. But Hero told him, don't worry about it, goody old pal. I'll deal with those bullies for you. So the next day at school, the bullies see that his friend Ando is back in class. So you already know they're ready to harass this nigga. So bully number one slams his hand on the table and here he come with his sorry ass roast. Hey buddy, we haven't seen you at school lately. But do you know who also hasn't been at school lately? 
My mom! No one cares about your mom. That fact the joke, pussy! So Pro tries to grab him, but Hero ends up stopping him, and everybody in the class is stunned. They like, oh, nah, little nigga playing with his life. So bully number one looks at him and says, wow, you've got balls, kid, but do you know who's also got balls? My mom! But Hero was not fucking with Muscle Man. Bro mm -hmm. grabs his wrist and starts crushing it. And look at him, he like, oh, God! Strong ass nigga. So then Hero says, What's my name, nigga? <laughs> What's my motherfucking name, nigga? <laughs> now quit fucking with my bro, fuck nigga. Fuck out my face. So Hero ends up dealing with the bullies and they take the walk of shame. But do you think he was gonna let them off of the hook that easily? No. Oh no. So mm -hmm. at the end of the day, they go to the roof. And Hero ends up spotting the bullies walking with the hoes. So he gives his friend some binoculars and says, Watch this. And this man says the phrase four times. Times. Uh, uh, Bam. Uh, and Ando ends up spotting him. And yeah. Them boys done got boom right in front of the hoes. Mm -hmm. I mean, what a shitty final hours for these dudes, bro. First, they get embarrassed in front of the whole class. Then they get sniped in broad daylight right in front of their hoes. <laughs> nah, not gonna lie. That is embarrassing. That might be one of the worst ways I've ever seen somebody go out. So, obviously, the witness to this murder, his best friend, is officially on skates with bro now. Blood was like, to be honest with you, I can't fuck with you no no more my bro so hero was like okay just make sure you keep on going to school and just like that the high school bullies case comes to a close but like i said earlier we're not done with the suburban families incident because obviously it states families not just family so while this man is walking home he just stops for a second and i'll be honest with you i'm actually gonna have to play this scene because you have to hear the audio to understand what happens yeah, so, yeah. oh i oh, got spoiled so you're gonna see yep god damn As yeah. We clearly heard this nigga just murdered a dog. Yeah. Done you keep the clip rolling. Oh. oh. I don't remember this scene. Oh. Stop. This nigga fuck. just killed a mother, a grandpa, and a baby. Yeah. What the fuck? Oh, oh lordy, lordy, lordy. I don't remember this scene. Done. While he's walking away, he sees these two kids running past him. And bro turns around, points his finger at him, and said in his head, Man, fuck them kids, bro. Oh, fuck. Yeah. This guy's Alrighty, a fucking menace. It is now time for case three. The media massacre and the discord mods. Now, there <laughs> yeah. are a couple plot points that we have to go over before we dive into this case. And there are two people who are very important to this case. And that is none other than his mama yeah. and his daddy. Mm -hmm. Now, Hero's parents are split. The mm -hmm. mama is in the trenches. And the dad, that nigga living his best life. Bro got a whole different family. New wife, new kids. Nice ass crib. This nigga at the to the top of my lifestyle. And you wanna know what makes this so much worse? This man's mama get diagnosed with cancer, bro. Yeah. But wild shit. This man hero ends up figuring out that he can cure all diseases. Mm -hmm. Yes, this man is evolved again from Terminator to Hacker to Walking Med Kit. This man can literally <laughs> cure anything from the 19 to Ebola. It don't matter, bro can fix it. Mm -hmm. And after he cures his mom, bro starts robbing the ATMs again and moves around the hood. So life seems to be going great for Hero. Bro done moved his mama to a new crib and he's got a solid infinite money glitch going on. But all good things come to an end. So obviously the multiple suburban family murders he committed. Yeah, that's national news now. And there's a massive manhunt going on looking for the killer to which we know who that already is. Mm -hmm. And while he's watching the news with his mom, peep what she says right here. Oh Lord have mercy, this is terrible. I'd like to meet the parents that would raise such a child. Uh, 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 oh, oh. Um, Ma'am, I have some terrible news for you. <laughs> you going to jail. <laughs> So the next day, they get a knock on the door, and y'all already know who it is. Oh, she did. He did that thing. So this man is surrounded, and they ain't playing no games with this nigga. They jumping his ass right in front of his mama. They hitting him with that signature copio. Get the fuck on the ground! 
and look at his mama, bro. She is devastated. God, my nigga, why? Making your mama cry like this is criminal. So Hero has no choice but to just throw all of them off of him and just run for his life. And just like that, this man's life is over. Bro is the most wanted man in Japan. News media outlets got him listed everywhere. So while this man is on the run, he ends up meeting the most important character in this entire case, his mm -hmm. accomplice, yeah. Shion. Now, the reason why she's the most important character is something that we'll learn later. But right now, just know that she is sheltering Hero, which is illegal as fuck. And the reason why she's sheltering Hero, you probably guessed it. Mm -hmm. She's deeply in love with this motherfucker. Now, with all of our people of interest explained, now it's time to focus on the first catastrophe, the media massacre. So late one night, Hero's watching the news and he sees his mother being bombarded by media and just being harassed online. Yeah. Like is cooking her shit right mm -hmm. now. It got so bad, Discord mods was on some SS Snipe Wolf timing. <laughs> And this all ended up leading up to his mother offing herself. Yeah, that's sad. And this right here was the beginning of the crash out. Mm -hmm. So the next day, Hero's dad is getting bombarded by the media. So this man Hero pulls up to his dad's house and just let it fucking rip. Bro just started murdering everybody right in front of his dad. And look at this man. Now we yeah. set up. Bro got a primary weapon now. <laughs> and he just kept on spraying and praying until nobody else was breathing. Yeah. That easily. This man just offed a total of 17 people mm -hmm. in 30 seconds. Yes. This man's dad is shook. He is like, oh Lord, son, please don't shoot me, son, please. And this man hero just coldly looks at him and flies off to his next victim. So after this man boomed 17 news reporters next up were the discord mods now as we know a main reason why his mom offed herself is because she got straight doxxed and harassed and after she offed herself they were still talking shit mm -hmm. yeah, stupid bitch hope she fucking rots <laughs> whore bag fuck your son and fuck your mom oh my god so hero ends up finding the ip of the dude who doxxed his mom so hero ended up joining their discord server and just started chatting bro said i'm going to kill you all so obviously the discord mods think he bullshitting because they're making fun of him because they probably think he's off a perk but then it got to the point where hero sent this message that said i wish you would try and come and eliminate me <laughs> fucker <laughs> What's good, fuck, nigga? Oh, oh yeah, that was crazy scene. Make sure you see me in HD, nigga. <laughs> this gotta be a joke or something, right? <laughs> this is preposterous. So you're the dude who doxed my mom, right? Uh, no, I didn't. Only when I dox you. Oh. Um, yes, you piece of shit. <laughs> you know what happens next, right? And what are you gonna do? Leak my lollicon hentai folder? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dance, fat boy. I want you to look good on camera. <laughs> Lord Jesus! Fuck! 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 Eat my booty crack, mother trucker! <laughs> Are you about to die, bitch? Yeah, take that, you bitch! <laughs> So after this man murdered Lollicon 445, he <laughs> sent the video to every single person in the server and just started offing every Oh yeah, yeah, that scene was crazy. It didn't matter where you was at, he found you. Nigga at the library, dead, crossing <laughs> the road, at school, at a meeting, on the subway. Every single one of these niggas got boomed. And look at the last dude praying for his life. Please, please, I didn't mean to talk He's like, fuck that. <laughs> and just like that, all 12 of the Discord mods that were talking shit about this man's mom were all found and murdered within the hour. Mm -hmm. Y'all righty, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the grand finale, mm -hmm. the final case, the mm -hmm. NPA massacre and the Shinjuku incident. Now, remember when I told you that Shion is the most important character in this entire case and mm -hmm. will be the glue to everything? Mm -hmm. See, here's the thing. She basically plays the role of, I can fix him. And to be fair, 
she did. This nigga grew a soft spot for her, even though nights before he contemplated on killing her and her grandma. Look, nigga got the gun to her forehead about to blow her brains out. But she ended up convincing this man to start saving people. So this man started actually saving people's lives. He was curing cancer patients, paralyzed people, and just overall doing good deeds. It was a miracle. So this man was in hiding for a good two months, living with the only light he had in life, his sunshine. But what happens when you take that light away? Well, ask the police department. <laughs> Bravo 6, going dark. So SEAL Team 6 bust in the house and just shoot to kill. The grandma got unloaded on, Shorty got dropped off, and they just started dumping mags in Hero. Apparently, bro did not escape that five-star wanted level. So mm -hmm. bro has to blow a hole in the house to make his escape and just squad wipe the whole SWAT team. So after this, you just see this man just tearing up, just devastated. Now they're not dead because of his healing factors and shit, but this all led up to, and I mean this literally Literally, the biggest crash out in anime history. So we gotta see that time video to focus too. our sights on the NPA. Yeah. So later that night, Hero shows up to the police department with a hood over his head, looks at the security guard guarding the front door, and just booms him in the head. And you just hear shots and screams from the outside as this man is just mauling his way through the hallways, doing his best Anakin Skywalker impersonation. Like, you cannot tell me this nigga does not look like Anakin when he slaughtered the younglings. And for right now, oh, I don't even want you to focus on the kill count this entire segment because we're actually going to get a precise number at the end of this. So now we focus on these two agents as they find Hero just standing here menacingly. And bro right here wasn't playing no games. He straight up said, suck my dick, nigga. So he booms Hero in the head and a bunch of other dudes pop out of cover and just start booming them so after they dump all the ammo in them they like Ugh, sir i think we got him Hoorah, motherfucker but no you're not them boys were shooting bb guns so this man hero fakes playing dead gets a triple kill straight headshots and the one agent runs at him to try to tackle him but bro got derrick henry stiff arm and just put the gun to his head and said gun to the front of your head named five one piece characters non straw hats <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> so after he just annihilated everybody in here, the last dude asks, what do you want and why are you doing this? And Hero tells him, well, you were going to come after me anyways, right? So I decided to save you the trip and shoots him in the leg. So this man leaves him alive and says, I want you to witness me wipe out the entire police force in a night. So after this, bro walks outside and the whole SWAT team is here to greet him. Mans is surrounded. So bro starts walking out and the snipers already got his ass in sight. So one of them takes a shot and sends them flying and the whole team moves in and just starts shooting. But it was not going to be that easy. These niggas was going against a Decepticon. So they finally pin him down and surround them. And this finally looks like the end of Hero. But alas, bro reveals his trump card. And but online. So this man takes flight and just starts spamming lasers. Everybody just starts getting hit. There was yeah. no running. There was no hiding. That aimbot started tracking. Nigga, this shit was worse than that phase Jarvis aimbot. And every <laughs> single cop, detective, and SWAT team member got annihilated. And then bro's body just fell down on the card. So the last two detectives that somehow survived just started shooting bro, making him look crazy in this frame, looking like he getting head from Tiana Trump. And after they run out of ammo, <laughs> bro just looks at him and just gets the easiest double, double kill. kill of his life. Yeah. And of course, course the last man standing is old boy he shot in the leg mm -hmm. and hero just looks at him and says told you nigga and just walks away leaving him there and with that this man killed a total of a whopping 85 people that night Jesus. and all the news it goes more into detail just alone 34 of his kills was just the SWAT team so that means 51 of them niggas was boomed in the police station alone and with that bro just wiped out the entire police force but was he done no nope. because now nope. it's time for this man's final act yeah the shinjuku incident mm -hmm. so the literal next morning this man hacks into all of the tvs and basically announces and says greetings citizens of japan 
as of now, I will be declaring war on your country. And why is that, you may ask? Simple, because me and my shorty cannot live in peace with all of you heathens. And right before this man gets off the intercom, he states, and remember, no Russian. Now, if you know what that term means, and you know who this is, then you know what's coming next. Mm -hmm. So obviously the citizens think nothing of it. They probably think this is a prank, until this happens. Yep. Bodies start dropping. So panic just ensues. Nobody knows what the f is going on. Bodies are getting dropped left and right. So then you see these dudes in the alley, and they obviously calling for help until the dude gets boomed through his phone. And that's when they end up figuring out Hero is shooting them through their phone. So then he ended up calling the news anchor. So he was like, ladies and gentlemen, breaking news. I have Hero Shishigami on the phone right now. Now, sir, you've done a very terrible thing. Is there anything that you want to say? to the public about the atrocities you committed? He's like, no, nigga. <laughs> yeah. Bro shot this man on national TV. So Hero's best friend ends up sending a telecom message to everybody to put your phone down. So everybody ends up dropping their phone. But this man, Hero, got on the big screen and said, yeah. dropping your phones won't save you. Now, let the party continue. And bro just starts unloading on everybody through the TV screens. Yeah. This shit just got ridiculous. Yeah. Just on unloading. He didn't stop until he got to 100. So the next day, this man does the unthinkable. Bro lifts his hands up and everybody just starts looking in the air, just speechless. And then you see it, a big oh, shit. comes down and crashes. This is the dropping planes. Oh, hell no! Bro used his hacking ability to basically EMP bomb the plane. And this wasn't the only one. This nigga dropped six oh, of his no. crashing in the middle of the city. This Jesus. Shit is just absurd at this point. But oh boy. Now we gotta do some big math. I ain't no damn mathematician, but look, there gotta be at least 300 bodies on each plane. Times that hoe by six. This nigga just dropped off 1,800 bodies. You could easily round this bitch to 2,000 with the collateral damage. Like, dog. And it wasn't that six just dropped anything in the airspace dropped but luckily the main character came in and saved the day because this could have got 10 times worse than it already was so after all this chaos hero ends up confronting mr inuyashiki yeah and states why are you helping these people you're just like me so what the fuck are you doing and mr inuyashiki says because i'm a hero young blood now what does that say about you youngin and hero starts crying and realizes damn Looks like I'm the villain after all. So then he slaps this nigga in the chin, busting open his cranium, and just starts shooting him. So Inuyashiki has to take off because his daughter was in one of the buildings that got hit. But Hiro was just chasing this man throughout the entire city. So the only way to stop this man was to, I kid you not, drop a satellite on this nigga. So that's what he did. He dropped the satellite on the nigga, then ripped open his cranium, ripped off his arms, and just dropped him into an alley to make sure bro couldn't do no more shit. And that concludes the end of this man's atrocities. And with a whopping kill count of around the estimated 2,035 yeah. bodies. Yeah. And let's be real, it could be more. Hiro Shishigami submitted himself as one of anime's deadliest serial killers. Yeah. Now, get this. After this man got his ass whooped, he was basically cooked. Bro couldn't do shit no more. He had no hands. So this man goes back to his best friend's house, looking like a doomer, and just tells him, Yo... You read that new One Piece yet? Her Oda was cooking this week. So bro read his last chapter of One Piece with the toes out, went to go see Shorty for one more time, reflected on his life choices, and blew himself up on an asteroid yeah. to save the world. Yeah, I know you're probably confused on the ending, but hey, I actually recommend go watching this anime. Yeah, that's good. That's good. good. Tell, but, uh, this nigga out here really trying to have redeeming qualities. Nah, fuck that nigga. <laughs> you killed a fucking baby. Yeah. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, case closed. And that is our first installment of anime's deadliest serial killers. But anyways, man, hope y'all enjoyed. And before I forget, the hiatus hiatus is over on the second channel. So I'll finally be over there in between vids now. But until then, I'm out this hoe. Yeah. Oh, okay. That was a great ass freaking video right there. Yes. Yeah, that guy was a fucking true menace. A true menace of society. <laughs> yeah.
Alright guys, that's the end, of the end of the video. I mean, if you want more Party Kid Elite re reacting to stuff like this, subscribe to the channel, leave a like, comment down below. What do you guys think of him uh, here so far? What do you guys think about the anime? Uh, I did not really like the ending too sometimes. I feel like there could have been more to the story, but eh, that's just how it is. So I'll see you guys again until the next video.